Hi there guys and girls, this is Ben Effler. Today I'm going to talk you through how I converted my green normal maps and turned them into the opaque orange ones that are required for Warhammer 1 and 2 Total War modding. Uh, unfortunately I don't have knowledge on what I'm discussing, so if you've got any questions regarding different programs, unfortunately you have to check online uh, for your answers. But if you're using Photoshop and you've got green normal maps and you want to turn them into orange ones, hopefully this tutorial helps you out. You'll see what I've done here is I've imported just the normal map the newly created normal map PSD into my Photoshop and I'm saving it in my edits folder as a DDS. So that's the first thing I'm done. Uh, you'll see that the behind all the windows, it's that bluey purple color, but that's because it's not a normal map yet. It's, a, it's still a PSD. So now I'm selecting normal map, making sure to flip the green because uh, my uh, normal textures are flipped from the vanilla ones. And then I press OK. And then we don't need that open anymore because we need to see the newly created DDS normal, uh, yeah, the normal map that we've just saved. So I'm going to go to edits, I'm going to not tick anything, and you'll see it's got that green color. Now what we want to do is edit the uh, file uh, so we can make it that opaque orange color that's required for Warhammer. To do that, super simple. Just go into channels, select your red channel. Uh, this is without doing any edits. So unedited, click on the red channel, duplicate it. You can name it something creative or just leave it blank. And then now we want to do an edit. We'll go to image adjustments uh, levels and pull that black up to the white. So the red channel is fully white. And now we want to copy the copied red channel and paste it as a layer mask onto our main uh, layers channel. So we'll select the layer mask, paste the red channel, and then we can actually click on the layer mask and just do apply mask. Uh, so apply layer mask and that's just done. Uh, I do an extra save here for some reason, so ignore this save because I didn't select all the channels. So while this is while this mistake's going on, I'll just quickly talk over uh, and say that I'm obviously recording this audio after I've done it, so I know this all works. So thankfully, there's only two little weird things I do. Um, I have a habit of closing and opening files, and 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 I have a habit of making extra saves. So there we go. You want to make sure all the channels are selected. Go up to file. Uh, go up to save as and again in my edits folder that I've created I'm going to save it as a PSD I'm going to call it something like flipped or something I can't remember exactly what I named it but yeah this is the save that you'll make you want to do save and then you want to do ok and then that has just got our file ready right now I think I close this for some reason and then reopen it. So yeah, so you don't need to close it, but I did. So that's the file we just saved. I'm going to reopen it and it's exactly the same as what it was when I saved it, except it looks like the 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 bottom channel has now turned itself off automatically. So I don't know if that makes any difference, but that was just a heads up. Everyone, everything was selected. I closed it, opened it, and then when I reopened it, the bottom red channel was closed off. You know, you want to open up your vanilla normal map, not but not checking that box. You want to leave everything unchecked so it looks the same as uh, our new normal that we want to add. So we we'll do that so it now looks the same. And what we need to do is you'll see we, we when you add another opaque layer on top of each other, it makes it darker. So we need to cut out our, just our normal map that we've created, just the new part, and, and, and then cut out the area where it goes on the vanilla one. And to do that, it's super simple. What you do is we use uh, we use the layer that we created. Uh, so in my case, I'm going to use a layer that I created a mud box, and I'm going to use it as a mask to make layer masks on both the custom and vanilla normal maps. So you're going to see here I'm going to pull in the mud box export of just the texture that I created that I needed a normal map for. I'm pulling it in. I'm going to close that off because I don't need it anymore. And I kept the background on so I could see you know so I can make sure and line it up properly. Then it's lined up. All we need to do is copy the, um, you don't need to rename anything here. I don't know why I'm doing that, but, but yeah, you need to just get that mask, just that layer, because we're using it as a mask. We're gonna select it, so make a selection and then click on our layer, make a layer mask, and then we're gonna copy that selection again and do another layer mask, but this time invert it. And then that way, once done, the two layers merge seamlessly like a perfect jigsaw piece. There's not any weird lines, there's not any 
darker or lighter parts and that's done so i'm going to do a backup save because I, I like doing saves um and i'm going to name it something and then all you really need to do at this stage is just to save it as a dds but we're gonna we're gonna have to i'm gonna humor you and you're gonna watch me do an extra save here because i'm too lazy to cut this part out um <laughs> But yeah, what well, that that's done. That's how you do it. That's that's how that's how you go around converting your um, normal maps to be the proper orange color rather than the green color that they come out as. So I'm now being ultra lazy here, and I'm getting the name of the you know of the 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 proper name because obviously I'm doing this as a replacer. It's a replacement of the vanilla texture, so I'm copying the exact name. Rather than typing it, I'm copying it. That, that's the kind of guy I am. Lazy Ben. Uh, so yeah, now we've got that, I'm going to set my outputs folder, or in your case, it'll be your text folder for your mod. And you want to select uh, the DDS exporter, and you want to select uh, the DXT5 interpolated alpha. Uh, map map generated, and make sure that's checked. Press save. And then what I do at the end is just to show that the colors are matching. I open up both of them this time, uh, the, the the newly created one and the vanilla one. And I, I believe I actually turn on the alpha this time, so you don't have to strain your eyes looking at a uh, you know a washed out texture. So there's the uh, the new one, the custom texture, and here is the vanilla texture. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content like this. And if you want to get notified on my uploads, you can ring that bell. All those things help me out tremendously. So thank you in advance. I've been Ben. You've been awesome.